Hello guys, and welcome back to British Gaming today. And today, I'm taking you to Japan. No, we're not actually going back to Japan. I'm kind of taking you back to when we went to Japan. Because if you remember, I went to Japan for a week. I went around Denden Town in Osaka and Kyoto and uh, Kobe. And I picked up a load of cards. Some really awesome cards, some uh, shining cards, some gold star stars as well. Um, and I sent them away to PSA to get graded. And <laughs> I went in March and they're back now. So that turnaround time was uh, not the fastest one I've had. Not the fastest one. As always, I have to shout out initially Team Magma. Um, thank you so much. He always sorts out my PSA stuff for me. So thank you very much, Team Magma. Okay, so I actually have about 30 cards here. Some nicer than others. Some did better than others. Sure. I didn't expect them all to get 10s anyway. But I do have some really special cards here. I hope you guys will watch the whole thing and enjoy it all, even though we're going to start off with the stuff that is not interesting um, and just build it up slowly. So, okay, let's, without further ado, let's go back to Japan and <laughs> have a look at some of these cards. Okay, I've sort of got them in some sort of order I wanted to do them in. So, I'm going to start off this little stack here. Um, the first one is the uh, 2016 uh, Battle Festa Pikachu, which only scored an 8. I was really disappointed with this. I sold the PS te PSA 10 one, and I bought this with uh, intentions of getting another PSA 10. Um, looking at it, there's a bit of glare there, but it doesn't, there's not really much uh, wrong with it, really. So the 8 on that was really disappointing to get. Um, Centering is not awful on it. Nice card. Anyway, not the best. If you remember, I was there for the release of SM6, Forbidden Light at the time, and I went six ultra rares for that Pokemon, one of which was the Ener Porter. So quite happy to get the Ener Porter. Um, PSA 9, and uh, this just goes to show you, a lot of people, when they look at cards for grading, they check out the uh, condition of the card, make sure there's no obvious scratch, dents, or, you know, blemishes. One of the things that we're going to see a lot today, and very shortly actually, is a centering issue, which marks down the card. It's uh, really badly centered. I don't know why I sent this in, to be honest. It's that badly centered. We've got the, the thick right-hand border, and it's very uh, thin on the left-hand side. I've got other cards to demonstrate this as well. I had a, a Mallow uh, Full Art which got a 9 for the same reason, and the Diantha that I pulled there as well on the way home uh, was I was uh, half asleep or half dead in the, the airport. Um, it's got the thick left hand border, so you can clearly see the cards are off center. I don't know why I wasted my time sending them into PSA, but I did, and <laughs> I got nowhere with those four. Let's get the disappointing cards out of the way. I've got some PSA 10s now to show you, which is really good. Um, this little stack here, they're all, uh, mm, how many, sorry, I'm just working out, I want a display in the background and I can't put these in because they're in the sleeves still, I'm not going to take them out the sleeves, some don't have sleeves, but we'll do these first anyway. I bought the uh, Greninjas for myself, I really like Greninja, great Pokemon, and I bought the Hyper Rare and the Full Art version when I was there, and they both scored a 10, so I'm really happy to see both of these score a 10. I think they're going to be very nice additions to the collection, the British Gaming Collection. Um, we also have some more full art trainers. We've got uh, Bonnie, who I pulled as well, one of the six uh, non-Pokemon uh, pulls from uh, SM... Was it SM6? Yeah, Forbidden Light was SM6. And Plumeria as well, both 10s. That collection is really building the full art trainers now. Um, we also, speaking of the full art trainers, cast your minds back when I pulled Lady three times. Yes, three times in a row I pulled Lady. And would you believe, 10, 10, and 10 on Lady. I don't need three, so I will be getting rid of some of these. And uh, yeah, I'm quite uh, <laughs> astounded that some of, some of the cards are quite poorly centered. Yet yeah, these three, the ladies, are all perfect. So quite happy to have all three ladies. I have the uh, Looker Full Art. 
which I picked up there in a 10 as well. And it's a really nice artwork. It was really cheap, actually, the looker. I'm sure it was like uh, 400 yen or something. The focus is terrible on looker. It's There we go. So, so it was really cheap. So grade that in a 10. Very nice. Um, I also got this. Do you remember I pulled the mystery treasure when I got back? This was part of the Plaza Japan collaboration. Graded that in a 10. One of only two in the world. I believe the population is still two on this card. Um, beautiful card, very sought after. It was the big card from SM6. I remember all the shops selling it or trying to buy it for 10,000, 1 million thousand yen, or whatever it was. And we have the, uh, we have it here in a 10. Happy days. Sad story time now. So <laughs> I picked up Lunala to go with my uh, Solgaleo, which was at PSA at the time. I bought Lunala, I thought, wow, I'm gonna get a really nice pair. I'm gonna get the gold um, Lunala and Solgaleo. Be a really nice little mini set. And then the Solgaleo come back, didn't you, buddy? As a nine, due to centering again. This is the first time I got scorned by centering and it wasn't the last either. So don't learn my lesson. I've... Lunala is much more centered. Beautiful cards, great pair. One is a 10 and one is a 9. It just never works out, does it? It just never works out as you want it to. Anyway, I think that is it for like the more recent cards. I have I've got a lot of, uh, yeah, more vintage cards now. So we're going to check these out now. I'm going to start with uh, this little stack here, I think. There's five of them there. Oh, I've got five holders as well. I can put them in my holders, which is good. So, okay. Let's start off with these two bad boys. I picked up some base set Charizards over there. Um, beautiful cards, base Charizard. One is an eight and one is a six, so one is slightly better than the other. Um, you can see on the back of the six, there's, there's a little bit of damage and whitening around the top here. And um, I'm sure there's going to be some sort of surface damage as well. It is a little bit off-center as well, this Charizard. It's quite a thick top border, quite a thin bottom border. I'm not even sure that's straight, to be honest. But, um, yes, uh, PSA 6 Charizard. Yeah, let's start, let's start building a background. We don't just want, like, a bare background the whole time. And our PSA 8 Charizard. I've got these beautiful stands for them now, so very nice. Uh, one card I was a little disappointed in as well was this Umbreon card from the... Uh, Town with no map uh, expansion. I thought it would be a 10. I sent it in really wanting a 10 on this one. It came back a 9. I can't really see too much damage to it or any damage to it, hence why I thought, I thought it would be a 10, but alas, a 9. It might need be one that uh, I get regrading, uh, but it is a really nice card nonetheless. So Umbreon can go over here. Two more from this stack. I have one Masaki Alakazam. Um, didn't score too highly. I didn't think it would. It was quite beat up condition. It's uh, excellent to mint. Uh, PSA 6 on this one, which is the lowest score we've seen so far, along with the Charizard down there. So we've got the Masaki Alakazam. And uh, let's have a quick look on the back. Uh, back looks quite clean, actually. but. Um, there are a few defects to it, a few whitening and silvery bits around the corners. But a Masaki Alakazam nonetheless. Over there. Okay, final card from this little pile before we move on to uh, the really ridiculous cards is the uh, Ancient Mew. And those of you who are eagle eyed, see down here, you can read that, right? It says N Nintendo, not Nintendo. Probably easy to see up here. The Nintendo era Ancient Mew. Part of the very first batch of the Ancient Mew promo cards for the very first movie in Japan. Actually, I think around the world this card was released. And um, it got a nine. It was really great condition. The back on this card is stunning. But not that, the, the actual uh, corrected um, Nintendo Mews aren't that expensive to pick up. So if you want one for your collection, it's, it's they're quite easily obtainable. A 9 anyway, disappointment with the 9. But that was not the only Nintendo Ancient Mew I picked up. Right then, onwards and upwards. I have another little batch here ready to go. 
We're gonna start off with, we're well into the shining and gold stars now, so brace yourself. <sighs> Why did I say that? Okay, here we are. We have the Gyarados Gold Star from the uh, Holland Phantoms. It came back as a six, so decent on the first edition Gyarados. I think this is the only first edition one I picked up. I'll have to check. Obviously, um, a beautiful card, the red Gyarados, all the shiny Pokemon. Uh, shiny Pokemon as well. Um, I don't know how close this camera will let me get to it. It's very reflective, the, the case, but you can just see the, the glow on it and it is. It is a stunning, stunning card. A six on that Gyarados. So we're not complaining too much with the Gyarados. Um, yeah, we're gonna take you down. And we're gonna put you up. Because you're not in a sleeve and you're preferred, to be honest. Um, next, another gold star here is our Entei, and they've got a seven, which is slightly better than the Gyarados, but yes, a Gold Star Entei nonetheless, not first edition, the unlimited one. Golden Sky, Silvery Ocean, beautiful card nonetheless, a seven is a decent score. Let's just have a quick look anyway, I'm not sure, yeah, there's, there's lots of whitening around the edges here, I'm not too sure the camera picks it up that well, but still, I'll take down this Mew, I think I'm gonna end up changing the whole background. I didn't want to start with them in the background because I wanted to, uh, I didn't want you to see them, basically. I didn't want you to see them. I'm sorry. Okay, moving on, we have this here. This is not just any base set Zapdos. It's got an 8, by the way, very good score. It is a no rarity Zapdos, so down on the right hand corner where you would normally see your rarity symbol. It doesn't have one, which means it's part of the very first batch, first edition, essentially. And we're very happy to have that in an 8. It only scored an 8 because there's a couple of uh, pinprick holes above Zapdos's head, which uh, I think costed a little bit. I don't know if we can really pick it up on the camera again, but they are around here somewhere. So Zapdos there. Oh, do I want to get rid of any of these? Yeah, Charizard. We don't need two Charizards. So a PSA 8, no rarity Zapdos. There's not actually a PSA 10 copy of that, I don't think. So to have one in an 8, it's a success, I think. Moving onwards, we have our Gold Star Alakazam. Scoring an 8 again, a great score. So Alakazam, came back as an 8. Um, a bit of whitening around the corners again. It's just the standard sort of stuff, really, nothing. Nothing too damaged, damaging here on Alakazam. PSA 8 for this gold star. Very happy with that. And make sure I'm not knocking anything over. We don't want to damage anything here. Okay, we have our PSA 8 again. Shining Gyarados this time. Not the gold star in the top left. You can't see it now, can you actually? Because my head is in the way. Just thought of that my my head is in the way of the the Gyarados in the top left. But I can assure you it is hidden behind my giant head here. Anyway, why am I why am I positioning it? You cannot see it. His shining Gyarados anyway, and he picked up a PSA eight, and it's a beautiful card. It's got the shimmer, the all over shimmer. You can probably see see me in the reflection if you look. But yeah, and the camera, alas. <laughs> Beautiful Shimmer. Okay, let's put you to one side, Gyarados. We're moving into, uh, we've got six cards left. We, we've got a PSA 9 Gold Star, and then we have five cards, all PSA 10s, all Gold Stars, and Shining Pokemon. So let's get into these. We have our Latios Gold Star, which scored a 9. A stunning gold star. I may have been a bit lucky with this getting a nine. There's there's, there's quite a bit of widening, whitening around the the edges. Um, so a nine, I'm very happy with. On the Latios gold star, very good. So okay, guys, we are into the last five cards. All of these Pokemon. Ah, uh, I'm just trying to figure out a structure to it. Okay, we'll do one. Okay, they're not all gold stars and, and all shinings. I have one that isn't. 
I have got this one here. I have another N Nintendo Error Mew. This one is a 10, so I'm really happy to get this in a 10. Both look pretty clean to me. This one scored a 10. I couldn't be happier. Stunning on the back. These cards are not easy to find in, in such great condition nowadays because obviously they were released, what, 20 years ago, whenever it was. So to get the Nintendo Error Mew in a 10, very happy with that. Let's put him on display. I don't even know if we can see him here or if I'm still in the way there. I'm, oh no, I do not want to drop the gold stars. So Ente, you can go back there. Um, you know what? I'm just going to play it safe. I'm going to put him down here, out of the way. Let's look at our next gold star, shall we? We have the next gold star in a PSA 10 is a Suicune in PSA 10, gold star, stunning, stunning card. Again, shiny shiny Suicune here, PSA 10. I picked it up with the intention of getting a PSA 10 as well. It's the unlimited version and I'm very happy to have this back in a 10. So yes, a Suicune in PSA 10 there. So on to the last three cards, I believe. Three cards, we've got one more gold star and two shining Pokemon, all in tens. Let's look at our last gold star here. Our last gold star, PSA 10, is the Celebi gold star. And I'm more than happy to pick this up. I didn't think this would get a 10, I picked it up. I'm sure I saw something on it, I don't know what I saw. But I, I wasn't convinced, I hadn't planned for this to get a 10. I think I got a really good price as well. So Celebi in a PSA 10 from the Miracle Crystal set. So 2006. Stunning, stunning PSA 10 card. Very happy with that. Two cards left to go guys. Um, not really any particular order I want to do these in. I have this one here. This is a, well there's only two Shining Pokemon left. So this is a PSA 10 Shining Tyranitar. And it's again the limited version. Um, I wasn't 100% I'd get a 10 on this, um, for whatever reason. It did score a 10, it was up to the standard. And I'm really happy. I know that Team Magma sent away a Shining Tyranitar as well during the submission and he also got a 10. So he had two sh Shining Tyranitars in a PSA 10 come back to him, which is unbelievable. But yes, if I just lift it slightly, you can see Tyranitar just glistening. Just glistening. Absolutely stunning card. PSA 10 Shining Tyranitar. Yes, last card. In my opinion, I've saved the best to last. Um, everyone's got their favourite cards. This is my favourite card that I came back with. And uh, it's the PSA 10 Coro Coro promo Shining Mew. And uh, there's not much that needs to be said about this card. It's stunning. It's utterly, utterly stunning. The colours are just mesmeric. Uh, Shiny Mew there is just having the absolute time of his life. and. Who can blame him when his card looks like that? PSA 10, Gem Mint Shining Mew. Those are my acquisitions from my trip to Japan, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, trip to Japan. Not that you actually saw me pick up any of these. I recapped at the end of the video, didn't I? So, wow, we've got some really stunning cards here. All of these PSA 10s here, all the rest of them. Some really amazing cards. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to match this submission, but yeah, uh, maybe the next time I go to Japan I'll, I'll do something similar. Um, in other news guys, I've got some more fairy rides coming up soon. It's here, I've got more to do, I, I'm desperate to open it, I've got, uh, I'm going to do something a bit different with it, so I'm just waiting on that to happen, but hopefully we'll get them all done before SM8. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching today. Um, I'm sorry it's taking so long for these to come back. Trust me, it's really been killing me. But yeah, anyway, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're back now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'm on Twitter as well, at Bridge Gaming. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. So take it easy.